Hello loves, it's my there. Welcome back to my channel. So on one side of me, I have the new Recollections Creative Year Planner for 2017 in the vertical layout in the smaller size. And on the other side of me, I have the Happy Planner, also a vertical layout and also of a similar size. They both come in larger sizes in case you were wondering. So if you are really curious about this planner because it is brand spanking new, I did an entire run through of all of the layouts and everything like that in a separate video. I will link that video on the screen and I will link it down below. I can guarantee you any intricate questions you have about this planner, I answered them already in the other video. But I wanted to compare these planners side by side today. And I know my seasoned planner gals out there will be like, well, why are you comparing a disc bound system to a spiral bound system? And it's just for the sole purpose that both of these planners are available side by side at Michael's. And I know a lot of people who use the HAPA planner were really curious about this planner as well. Also, people interchange between disc bound systems and spiral bound systems. And I figured it'd be really helpful to kind of lay them out side by side. If you're new to planning, maybe you see both of them at the store and you're not really sure where to start. So I'm going to break down everything you need to know with both of these planners. The Happy Planner is available an 18 month option and the 18th month option is $29.99. I believe the 12 month option is $24.99. The Recollections Planner is also $29.99 and it only comes in a 12 month option to my knowledge. So if you were to compare apples to apples, the Happy Planner is slightly cheaper if you wanted to compare the 12 month version to the other 12 month version. In terms of the size, if you can't tell, the Recollections Planner is slightly shorter. They are the exact same width across, but the Recollections Planner is about three-fourths of an inch shorter from the top. The pages inside of the Recollections Planner, I believe, are seven by 8.75 inches and the pages inside the Happy Planner are seven inches by 9.5. Five. The paper quality on these is both great. The Happy Planner, however, does have a slightly better paper quality to it. If you were to feel both of them, this one is thicker, but I still believe that this one is a good paper quality. This one just has the edge in terms of paper quality because I know you guys were wondering because I feel like Happy Planner is the standard for paper quality when it comes to uh, more popular planners out there. In terms of optionality, this is where there is a huge difference. The inserts of the Happy Planner, for example, like this is my planner and the inserts across all of the planners especially the new planners that happy planner is coming out with for 2017 vary from cover to cover so i have the make every day count happy planner but that is completely different from the bright happy planner the floral happy planner the neutral happy planner that came out so you do get more optionality with your inserts for the Recollections Planner, all of the horizontal planners have the same inserts and all of the um, vertical planners have the same inserts. The Recollections Planner does come in a horizontal option. That is another thing to note, whereas the Happy Planner only comes in a vertical option except for the Rose Gold Happy Planner that is available at Hobby Lobby. Now, that being said, the availability of these planners is different. Like I said, both of them are available at Michael's. However, Mambi, Me and My Big Ideas, is available on their website and Hobby Lobby as well as Michael's. Whereas the Recollections, you can only find it on the Michael's website and you can only find it in their store. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So I know the question on everybody's mind is how do the vertical boxes compare to each other? So as you can see in the Recollections Planner, the boxes are much smaller. The widths of the boxes are the same. They are one and a half inches wide. However, the length of the boxes does differ. So the length on my Happy Planner box is two and a half inches, while the length in the Recollections box is about 
two inches, I believe. So there is quite a big of difference in the boxes. However, with the Happy Planner, I know the boxes aren't necessarily standard from planner to planner. It just depends on the one that you have. It varies slightly, but there is a difference. The other difference with these planners is that the Recollections Planner does come with extras. Like I mentioned in my other video concerning this planner, you do get sticker sheets, you get a folder and you get a clear plastic pouch. All of these things you do not get in the Mambi planner. You have to go buy those things separately. Dividers, pouches, you have to make your own. You have to kind of do your own thing. However, it is confined within a system that makes it easy to customize these things. Whereas in a spiral bound notebook, it's not that you can't add things. You just have to add a coil clip and it's just overall more difficult. It's definitely not the ease of flexibility of an arc bound system. Which brings me to probably the most obvious point which is it really does boil down to disbound versus spiral and obviously that's not a decision that I can make for you I'm just laying the facts down for you the discs on the happy planner are about one and a quarter inches in diameter and the coil here is about one inch in diameter so it does make a difference in terms of how bulky the planner is but it's just something to note that it's not like massive. I think it looks more on screen than what it actually is. I mean, when it comes to planners, like that fourth inch is pretty significant. So because the Happy Planner is so customizable, there are a ton of different options and things that Mambi sells to make it your own. You can also punch your own things inside of it and do with it what you please. For example, in mine, I have only like six months in here, not even like four three months in here. I have a budget binder in here, housekeeping, my homekeeping binder in here, some dividers and sticky notes that I added. So it is a flexible system. That's what I love about the disbound system. However, the planner itself when you buy it is pretty straight forward. This planner as is does have a little extra. It has the note pages and everything that I showed in the previous video. So it is more complete as is. There is something I do want to remind all of you about and that is that these things aren't set in stone. The binding of any planner you have isn't set in stone. If you want to arc this planner, you can. There's videos on YouTube that show how you can arc a spiral bound planner. And if you want to coil your happy planner because you're sick of the disc or you don't want pages falling out, you can go to your local stationery supply store and get it bound for quite a decent price. So don't get so caught up on this if you do realize later that you like one system more than the other. I actually have to give it to the Recollections Planner that if you wanted to punch this into an A5 disc system or even a A5 ring system, this might be better to do it with just because it is slightly shorter than the Happy Planner and because the boxes are shorter. You have this space on the bottom that if you don't use this space in the Happy Planner, because it straight up doesn't exist in the Happy Planner, you can feel comfortable even cutting this this short and punching it into an A5 system of your choice and making it flexible for you that way. My Happy Planner, I can't really comfortably punch it into an A5 system. I tried to finagle it and it just did not work out for me. Another thing to add is that these brands in itself both have mini versions of each other. I have an entire video on the Recollections personal size planners and they're coming out with even more new ones in December and Mambi just released their mini size planners that are horizontal and their mini fitness planner and they have all sorts of upsells with that, covers, etc. So there are many versions of each if you do want to mix and match. One of the plus sides about the Happy Planner is it's such an established brand, even within such a short time. I think it's been around for under two years. It's such a strong community of ladies who use the Happy Planner, and it's so inspiring to see how everyone uses it that that is one of the plus sides and draws to the happy planner you get to see everyone's inspired spreads and it's just really positive and uplifting this is not yet the case with this planner i mean it is brand new it's yet to be seen the upsell with this planner like i said michael's is coming out with a ton 
ton of new goodies in regards to this line. But in terms of uh, community and established brand, this isn't here yet. As the happy planner, the other thing going for it is a, it's kind of a more personal brand and people have a more personal connection. I mean, Stephanie and Lauren do periscopes and update people on what's coming out, etc. Michael's is more of like a very um, corporate brand and so people might have a harder time identifying with it or kind of jumping on board with it when this is such a tight-knit community. That being said, you can always mix match brands. I see myself lusting after things that Michaels is coming out with and wanting to use them in here and I'm going to be using all of my Happy Planner stickers in another system that I have. It's always great to mix and match and kind of pick and choose from other companies to see what really fits you best. That being said, like I said, I'm not going to bash one over the other and tell you which one you need and which one you don't. But I will say, if you've always lusted after an Erin Condren, but price for you was an issue, and you just did not want to buy a planner at that high price tag, the similarities between this and the Erin Condren cannot be ignored. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be tons of videos comparing the two. So if you've always lusted after an Erin Condren and you've never been quite a fan of the discount system, I would say you know, go to Michael's, flip through it, try it out. I mean, it can't hurt. Furthermore, if you've tried the Happy Planner and just this entire customization overwhelms you or you found yourself that you got a little too ahead of yourself and it became too bulky and you don't want to carry it around and you're looking for something new or you realized in your heart of hearts you love a spiral bound planner, I would also point you in this direction. On the flip side, if you know that you love to pull things in and out of your planners constantly and you're always taking out months and putting in new inserts and always changing things around, you might not want to try a spiral bound system as your main planner. If you still want to pick up a spiral bound planner and you are completely in love with your discount system already, my suggestion to you would be to actually have a purpose for this. As I mentioned in the previous video about these planners, there's a fitness planner, a cooking planner, a pregnancy journal, a wedding planner, which are all things that can be used as a second planner. So that would be my suggestion if you are already in love with the ARC bound system. So overall, I think these are two great planners. They fill two completely different needs within the planning community. And I don't think that there is a lot of overlap. I don't think that if you have one, you don't need the other. I just think it's completely going to be down to personal preference, but I just wanted to put out all the information that I could out there. I hope you found this video helpful. Like it if you did. It really helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already because I have a ton of videos like this on my channel and coming up for the new year as well. As always, I will catch my next one. Bye guys.